Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> I'm just going to do a voiceover for most of this video, you guys, because it's kind of a mess. Um, but I get so many questions on my dog and... Bless you. I don't know. I just feel like I never really answered anything. So I wanted to kind of put it all into perspective for you guys. Because a lot of people don't really understand, like, how to have a dog on the road. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but, yeah. So basically, um, during these videos and stuff, right now you're just seeing our little wake-up, like, routine. He just... <laughs> He was just waking up. Um, sometimes I have to wake him up. Sometimes he wakes me up. It depends on the day. Um, lately, I've been having to wake him up. But as soon as I wake him up, he is feisty and just wants to fight and stuff until I wake up. So <laughs> that's what he was doing here. He wanted to go out at that point, but I was just playing with him or whatever. But yeah, you guys, he is one and a half years old. Um, his name is Palm. Um, he's half husky, half Pomeranian, and yeah, he is honestly the reason why I'm able to just stay out and not really care, because a lot of people don't know, but like, I don't have a apartment anymore, so I stay out on the road, so I live on the road, so yeah, you guys, we basically just chill in the truck, um, so yeah, that's just us waking up, um, I was struggling that day y'all I'm editing this like weeks later and I'm like what the heck but anyways so this vlog I ended up being at the terminal I ended up stopping in at the terminal so I had my car and when I have my car I'm able to you know stock up on everything for him for the road um so yeah that's kind of what this video is about but like I said um this is kind of just to give you guys an insight on you know OTR life with the dog and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the park that I normally take him to when I'm near the terminal. Um, it's in Georgia, but we always usually stop in at parks. Loves um, has dog parks in most of their locations, so that's usually where I let him go in and run around. If um, I can't go to a park, I will just find random areas to walk him. You can literally look up like on Apple Maps like walking trails near you um, and see if there's any close by. Um, so yeah, that's what we do sometimes, but like I said, this was, um, I was at the terminal when I filmed this, so it just worked out, but that is him just chilling in the car with his little one leg up like usual. His pup cup from Dunkin' Donuts, and then we went to the pet store for him to pick some stuff out, and there was a lot of dogs barking, so he kind of didn't know what to do. <laughs> He usually picks stuff out, but... Okay, you guys, we're back in the truck. This is his little toy that he got. Look, he loves it! Do you love it? <laughs> I'm about to get ready. Um, go take a shower and stuff and get ready to go pick up the loads. So. Mommy, look, let's go on the bed with it. Come on. Bring it on the bed. Look, yeah. Oops! I didn't even take the tag off yet. You like it? Ah, don't <gasps> don't rip him. Don't rip him. You be nice. Be nice. See, I don't care about that. You better not. Yeah, I hate when he rips apart toys. Be nice. Ah. Do you like him? Yay! 
that I never even showed you guys what I had got him earlier. So I'm gonna show you guys. First of all, I got him a bed. Honestly, you guys, I didn't realize how big it is. But move it on my phone. But when I am driving or whatever, I could just always put it on my bed or even like put it like right here. It fit, but it was like super like snug or whatever. So yeah, I got him a bed because he hasn't had a dog bed in so long just because of the fact that when he was little, he used to always eat them, like bite them up. And I got tired of spending money on them because they're expensive. So then I got him like some treats that I had already put away earlier, but I'm just gonna show you the ones that I didn't put away yet. So I got him this bone. I get him so many different things while I'm on the road, you guys. Oh, this is for me. I got him so many different things while I'm on the road. Um, I got a new pair of nail clippers for him just because of the fact that I'm not able to get him groomed often anymore on the road. I got him this toy. Pommy, get the to get your other toy. Can you show them? I got him a new brush, you guys. This is like literally, he has a Furminator now, but this one's like wider and I don't know, I guess it's better. I I don't know, you guys. And then I got him just a bunch of random, like, chew things. Because like I said, I always just give him, like, new type of chews to try and whatever. I got him a new Kong toy. Um, hold on. No, I need to open them. I got him Alaskan salmon sweet tater fillets. And then I got him Himalayan dog chews ones he has earlier I, I got him other stuff too like I said but it's already put away so I was like eh, I don't feel like getting it all out but I will show you guys look at how cute this is so this brand is at Petco and it's what is it called I don't know but he rips his toys up to pieces y'all like that's why I stopped buying him toys because like I got tired of like picking up all the stuffing and stuff but this brand it's like super durable you guys and like he can't really rip it apart like he's had this pig for like months and months and that's the most damage he's done so far like he wasn't able to rip it up or get any of the stuffing or anything out of it so yeah that is what little Pommy got today and now we're gonna get ready and hit this road and y'all will see what an everyday life on the road is like for him every time I stop this truck and I'm where my car is this is what goes on every time you guys he gets stocked up we get new toys we get everything so I'm about to go through his old toys right now throw some stuff away make room for all these treats and toys and yeah I'll see y'all whenever we get rolling so this is basically all he does when I drive you guys he just sleeps but um this was us going through the car uh, truck wash and he gets freaked out every time i'm not sure why even when i wash the windows and stuff like when i'm fueling up even when i like wash the windows and squeegee it he like tries to like eat the squeegee thing on the window it's kind of insane um but yeah we got a truck wash and then um we ended up going for another walk i had found a walking trail so in this video, I don't think that I had filmed anything at the dog park because I didn't bring my phone or camera. Um, we did go to Love's Dog Park at some part in the day, but I had found a walking trail right near where I picked up my load. So that is where we had went. Um, we didn't walk too far. I think we only took like a 25 minute walk. Um, but yeah, it was super cute. So it's his dinner time now. Usually I put like that much food. He's on, um, he eats Royal Cannon food. It's like really good food, but for some reason he just, I don't know. I have to put additives and all types of stuff. So normally I put this in it. Um, it's like chicken, salmon, uh, carrots. It's in like broth too. So I, I'll pour this on top. Um, and he's the type of dog to like just eat when he wants. He doesn't really like sit and finish a whole meal at one time. So yeah, you guys, he is about to eat and then he'll be done for the day. I'm also going to put um, a sweet potato filet in it because he loves them. So yeah.
get my stuff, start driving again. See, this is what I mean, like, when you just find things, like, as far as trails and stuff for the dog. This was a, a pilot that I was at, um, getting some food, and it was, like, a long, just, a long road that we walked down, and he got a lot of exercise on it. We ended up running, um, a little bit back, but, yeah. Okay, you guys, it has been a super, super hot day today. It is 95 degrees, so he's gonna have, um, usually I'll give him like anything like icy. Sometimes I buy him like puppy slushies and stuff, which they sell at like Petco too, you guys, in like the little freezer. But lately on hot days, he has been getting been getting just this it's a little like Ben and Jerry's dog dog thing and he likes it y'all so he is about to get one of those because we just went outside for another walk um, I walk him very very frequently I know some people like there's always gonna be those people anywhere you are but some people are like oh like he needs to be off leash to run around and stuff you guys he doesn't listen to me enough for me to just have him off leash anywhere um, we do go to parks a lot, um, but yeah, I don't just let him off leash because I don't want him getting hit by a car or running away, like, obviously. So, yeah, he gets this, and this is basically just, obviously, like, puppy ice cream. There's pumpkin, mini cookies, and it just looks like this, y'all. And, yeah, he is going to eat one of those right now. Come, sit. Good boy. And yeah, he just eats it and it cools him down and all of that. So he's going to eat one of those and I'm parked for the night. So usually because my schedule changes so much and everything, I try to just, you know, obviously I let him out very frequently, but I try to keep him on some sort of schedule, even though like it's damn near impossible with this kind of lifestyle. But yeah, you guys, you never have to worry about Palm being not let out or not fed trust me he is good he is living very good but yeah you guys that is going to be the end of this video just a little insight on palm's life i know a lot of you guys have questions about him all the time and yeah that is just about it for his life on the road with me just a lot of sleeping and eating and walking but yeah, you guys, peace out and stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I love y'all and be safe.